I get asked this question all the time, where are you from? And I absolutely hate it. Maybe it's because I don't really have an answer to that question. But what I decide to answer is never good enough. Here comes Mario. This is our house. Yeah, red. Now it's recording. My story is as complicated as anyone else's, and I rarely know where to start. I mean, Gatineau is where I call home, and where my mom lives. Montreal is where I became a filmmaker and where my dad lives. Ottawa is where I started my career and became an adult. England is where my family is and where my mom is from. Peru is where my parents met. Indonesia is where I was born. Is it gonna dry her? Aww. <laughs> India is why I have such a lovely complexion. My name is Gabriela Gaia Warrior Renault. I'm 25 years old. I grew up in Gatineau, Quebec, and I currently live in Ottawa. My mother was born in India, in Bombay. She lived there until she was 12 when her family moved to England. Being the only colored family in their neighborhood, they face a lot of challenges. But if you've ever met my mom, you know how British she is. I made a conscious decision to drop my accent, to speak more like the announcers on the BBC. Became very British. But it was a very deliberate attempt on my part to fit in. My parents come from two completely different worlds. Jusqu'à l'âge de 16 ans, j'étais un petit garçon assez tranquille, enfant de cœur. Mais à 16 ans, j'ai comme euh, viré sur le top. Mais j'avais entendu parler du SUCO, Service universitaire canadien outre-mer, qui envoyait du monde en Afrique. J'ai dit, tiens, mes parents ne savaient pas. Donc j'avais 19 ans. Je partais trois mois après. I just fell for this this French Canadian. I'd never met a French Canadian. On a décidé de vivre au Québec. Ça c'était une grosse décision à prendre, mais euh, je pense pas que ça a été une décision prise sur à savoir est-ce qu'on prend un choix entre l'Ontario ou le Québec. La décision qu'on a prise, c'est que c'était cette maison là qu'on voulait. <coughs> My struggle with identity did not develop from within. I didn't learn about discrimination from my family. Instead, I learned about racism in school. I realized I was different when the kids in the playground started making comments about the way I looked. But it's a really different kind of racism. It's not completely overt or conscious. It's that feeling that people have no idea what to do with me. I'm not brown enough to be considered Indian, and I'm not white enough to be considered a Quebecer. So what am I? We need to start shifting the way we think about identity. It's not a box. It's not as easy as one category. What I got from being multiracial isn't a clear connection to a particular identity or culture, but an openness to the world and a passion for exploration. Gabby? Hi! 